On behalf of the Vice Chancellor and Principal, Professor Shalitsi Marwala, a warm word of welcome to the annual 2018 Men's Event. Thank you, um, everybody, and welcome to um, Movember. Mo sorry, I've got. Oh, grief, sorry. Thank you. Um, God, grief grows quickly when you get older, doesn't it? I can't believe how vast, how improved Checkers is. Isn't it incredible? When you uh, walk around, how improved everything is. You go around, you still get those announcements. Isn't it amazing? The, the airports don't do announcements. You have no announcements at the airport anymore. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I know people who have missed their flight for three days and they still haven't announced them. They just keep people waiting. The supermarket, they, they still have those announcements. Has anybody ever understood those? Announcements that you get in those the the tough is a top or something wrong, so we have to go as a thing. In the supermarket. I never know who that's for, especially in those hypers in the hypermarkets when you get those when you get the first one, the first one, the second one, the second one. What language is that? What a I was thinking that, you know, it's sometimes better to be, uh, you know, ahead of folks who are funnier than you. Uh, no, something like, it's better to be after the folks who are funnier than you, because then you know that they won't use what you have to say in a funny way. <laughs> Industry 4.0, so I, I looked at, you know, this catalytic initiative of 4.0 is something that the University's Council will look at later this week. Um, and for those of you, I think that you're all familiar, I have been touched by this theme of group of technologies that ultimately impacts humanity and what it would mean for, for the health profession as our theme today is connected to men's health. So clearly there is the aspect of data. There's also the aspect of quality of data since you, know, you, can, have an, you can have a lot of data and sometimes it is uh, the, the analogy is brought about with the with water in an ocean where there's a saying that there is several drops of water but not a single drop to drink and data sometimes is like that in the sense that you must have good quality data but if you think about good quality data and you think about its connectivity to the to health and what it could mean not only the individual data because of the privacy aspect but what aggregate data could mean in terms of coming up with a better approach for diagnostic, for better approach for treatment, but also for better approach for, uh, for counseling and for developing outreach uh, and ensuring that we're able to reach people in rural communities and in virtual and remote. We are, pro we are privileged to be here in this setting, being able to dialogue about the issues that the more difficult issues that Dr. Delsey will speak to later. Um, but you can just imagine what this industrial revolution could in fact mean if we're able to have a reach like this to rural communities in, in South Africa and elsewhere. Common conditions facing you guys are cancer, depression, heart and respiratory diseases. So if we speak of heart, heart conditions, one of the biggest risk factors is hypertension again and diabetes. These are mostly diseases of, of, of lifestyle. You know, we are starting to see more and more of these diseases in young guys as well. You know, uh, unhealthy, I'll, I'll keep on going back, you know, to unhealthy diet, smoking, alcohol, and just not exercising. If your name is Lapis or Flace or Mealbloom or whatever they call them these days, Flace, Lapis, they can drink. James Dalton, I don't care what you think of this man, he's only this tall, but he's filled with alcohol from the bottom <laughs> to the top. And we were sponsored by, that's the other thing, and I think maybe if there are anyone here in the media, it's the advertising and these things of these things telling you that brandy's nice and things are nice. Have a limit for yourself. So these, here's a story of no limits. I went to the dentist in the morning. And my dentist is in Kempton Park, because I'm not on Discovery. My, I, have a, I have a Nigerian dentist, and he always likes to show me all his new equipment that he's got. And he puts it all in my mouth. 